Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Behind me I have an M6 V10 and today we're going to be talking about rod bearings. Rod bearings can be a sore subject for S65 owners, but that also applies to S85 engine owners, such as the engine in this M6 V10. This car has 88,000 miles, so it's due for some preventative maintenance that haven't been changed before, and the customer is going on a long drive to Europe, so he wants to make sure that the car is going to be in as reliable condition as possible. This is quite a lengthy and involved job, so I'm gonna let Aston crack on with it, and we'll join him halfway through the job when he has the rod bearings out, and we can discuss the issues further. With the original rod bearings out of the car, we can take a closer look. Now this car had 90,000 miles on it and it was the correct time for the owner to change the rod bearings. As you can see, there's quite a lot of wear on the rod bearings here and there is some copper starting to show through. Now there's a couple of reasons why the original rod bearings wear like this. One of the main reasons is that BMW used 10W60 oil and that was just too thick when it was cold to get in between the rod bearing and the crank. And if the owner didn't warm the car up properly before thrashing it, for example, that would just exacerbate the problem because the oil still wasn't thin enough to get in there and prevent the wear that we've seen on these. Up until this point, we have been using OEM rod bearings as a replacement for the old ones that we take out. And one of the reasons for this was that we knew that if they were in a car and looked after properly, they would last well into 100,000 miles. And that's evidenced by our high mileage Monte Carlo edition, which had 150,000 miles. And when we took the bearings out, they still hadn't failed. They did need changing, but they were still okay. So we are now using these Marle Motorsport rod bearings, which have been in the market for around three months. Marle are an F1 engine component producer. They have a lot of advanced 
manufacturing, design, and R&D behind them. And they're actually better shaped than the standard ones. The standard ones aren't actually shaped perfectly, and that is evidenced by the amount of uneven wear we see in these cars when the rod bearings come out. You do not have the problem with the Marley ones, and technicians have reported that when they're fitting them, they actually fit just a lot nicer in the rod compared to the standard ones. These are the correct shape, they have good clearance, so you don't have that issue with the oil being too thick when it's cold. And the key with Marley Motorsport is in the name. Not only do they produce for F1, they also produce for endurance racing, where it's critical that engine components like a bearing don't fail, otherwise it's game over for the race team. And because of the pedigree they have, the heritage and the advanced manufacturing processes, everything is done to much tighter tolerances than we've seen with the OEM rod bearings, and we're more than happy to fit these into customers' cars. So that's a brief explanation of the issue and what we're doing to resolve it moving forward with the Marley Motorsport rod bearings. This issue applies both to S65 and S85 engines, as we're swapping out in this case, and the Marley rod bearings are also available for both engines. All that's left now is for us to reassemble the customer's car so you can enjoy it with peace of mind. Thank you so much for watching guys if you like the video please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already please remember to subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on if you want to join the conversation please drop us a comment below and we will do our best to respond to you and if you're running out of things to watch why don't you watch one of these two